This week was super tough. I'll tell you all about it. So this week I am getting ready for my new job as a front-end web developer. I haven't started yet. I'll start on the 8th of February. So it's really up to me to decide what I want to study. It's kind of like having a test but not really knowing all the stuff that's there. You just kind of know, oh, it's going to have some algebra. It's going to have some calculus. But uh, that's pretty much it. So what I've been trying to do is just... Uh, find out things that are going to speed up my processes, uh, automate a lot of things, and then um, also version control. I know Git, but I really just want to get in there and make sure I know everything I can. Like branching, I'm a little iffy on. So all, I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn all these things, and it's on my own. And I've been using um, Skillshare, Pluralsight, and Lynda.com. Those are my go-to resources. Of course, YouTube as well, um, but not so much. So I specifically learned SAS. Uh, there was Compass uh, to run SAS through, which will compile your SAS and turn it into CSS, but I use the Scout app. And it's pretty simple. I'll show you in the browser. All right, so I'm going to show you the Scout app. It comes with Compass. It's super easy. Let me just go ahead and let's just even Google it. You can just Google Scout app. And you see it's this first one. Oh, the Scout app site has moved. No. Scout app, SAS without the hustle. Here it is, a cute little doggy. Go down here, and you can choose what to download it for. You know, uh, Apple, Windows, Linux. I use Windows. You download this, it gives you a whole bunch of stuff. You run it. I mean, this video will show you how to set it up. And just take a quick look. You know, cute little animation. Hey, I'm Jared, too. So, you know run through that but once you've set it all up it's super duper easy so basically you run the scout app and you can put your projects in here and you can uh, you know go through the file and add new project or you can go even easier and uh, just go on through and drag and drop so you know if I have some files here um, bum, 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 bum. Web training, let's just say I put this in just for I'm not gonna actually put it in here. Then you have an input folder and an output folder. The input folder has to be a SAS, it has to be labeled SAS, and then the output folder has to be CSS. And so it'll take the SAS folder that you have there. I, I say mine is SCSS, and then it'll compile it down to CSS. All you have to do is press the play button. All you have to do is press the play button. Okay, so this is doesn't contain any SAS files. But when you save it, it will just basically compile it to the CSS file, and you can do it there. I can't go in detail because it's just a blog update, but check it out. It's awesome. Uh, the next thing I've been trying to do is, um, not trying, I have been doing, is uh, grunt. And I, I hate it. I can finally get in there. I know how to set it up. I know how to run tasks. But there's just some things like the watch task with, uh, with loading the browser. I I just don't get it. Like, like I straight up don't understand it. It's just like, what the hell is going on? Um, however, I, I came across a, a blog post that said, hey, I just use Browserify and uh, that helps me with uh, Live Reload. For those of you who don't know, Live Reload is a way to um, refresh the browser through a local host whenever you make an update to a certain file. And I couldn't get it to work. So, yeah. I, I hated it. Uh, let me show you this this um, workaround that I found that's super simple, worked for me on the first try. It was amazing. All right, so I have a file from a lynda.com um, JavaScript training that I'm doing. It's all in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it actually. Open in the browser, and you can see Explore Our Way. It's from the uh, JS Essential Training course. Highly recommend you take it if you're trying to learn JavaScript. I'm using it again for uh, you know just getting my foundation down. But let's go ahead and use browser sync. I call it browser five, but it's actually browser sync. And every time that I go ahead and make a change to a file that I specify, it will go ahead and update through local hosting. And uh, that way I don't have to hit command or control R all the time. I'm on a PC, so it's control R. So let's go ahead and open up browser sync. You can just search browser sync time-saving synchronized browser testing and you can install it right here npm install hyphen g 
browser sync. Now I haven't added this actually to my desktop, which I'm on just on my laptop. So let's do that right now. Install G browser sync. And it takes a while. The, the, the bummer about using git bash is that you can't really tell if it's loading. You see the little cursor there and it'll just blink at you versus if you're using the command line, it will, you know, turn, it will rotate. But there we go. You can see it's starting up and uh, should be in there. So that's how you get it installed. Very easy. And then they have a get started page here. We'll show you how to do it. Install Node.js. If you don't have that on your, on your uh, machine, go ahead and do that. NPM install. We already did that. Browser sync. Now this is where it becomes pretty cool. This is it pretty much. It's like three steps with grunt, you know, I, I'm trying to do live reload. It was, it took me forever and I did learn grunt, but I, I was not a happy cam camper. Okay. So there's all of our, uh, browser sync all up to date. So we're going to type in git bash browser sync start. And then we're going to, this means that we're going to open up a local server. And then this means files to watch. Oops, not flows. Files. And it can be more than just uh, what they have here is CSS. It just says CSS backslash asterisk, which means any file that ends in CSS. But you can do HTML and JavaScript. And I found that out just through trial and error. I just, just thought, well, what the, what the heck? Let's just do it. So let's go ahead and uh, go to underscore CSS because that's the folder that we have for this and any CSS folder or any folder ending in CSS and I'm going to add the index folder as well so just index.html and then let's go ahead even though I'm not going to do it let's see where are we accessing the DOM completed CSS script JS and so I'll just put in oops get over here script.js and basically this is telling browser sync anytime I change something and save into these files update the browser so I'll hit enter uh, browser sync not found I have an E here I hate those typos enter boom and it opened up yes I'll allow access to node.js I put it on there you can see explore our world your way if I go to the index file I can change any of these and save them and it will change so right here it says you can't see this is off screen but explore our world your way I'm going to change explore Idaho your way and when I save it boom it updates just like that but you have to specify the files so if I only put a CSS file that's only going to change the CSS if I want to update the CSS, the index page, and the JavaScript, I have to specify it within uh, git bash over here. So it's watching for those files and it also updates them to the local host. Um, so here, I'll do it again. Explore, welcome to Explore, Cal Explore Idaho your way. Explore Springfield. Mmm. Donuts. Dough. I don't know how to spell donuts. Donuts. We'll go back here. Explore Springfield. Mmm, donuts. And if we did it with CSS, should change as well. Text font. Font size. 90 pixels. Hot damn. Boom. You see that? And you can see where it says injected mean CSS. Try it out. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Super easy. Of course, I've been sharpening up my Git. I don't do a lot of branch, you know, branches because it's just me for the most part. It's just mainly Git, commit, add, save, and save, and then I'll move on to the next version. So I've been doing that. And the, the strange thing is, is, you know, I've been having a hard time getting all the things to work just the way I want them to, the way that I think they should be learned. But I did learn them. So they work, but there's a lot of pieces, you know what I mean? So I have uh, Browserify running in Git Bash. I have the Scout app that's doing the SAS. And then if I want to make a um, Git command or something, I have to exit Browserify 
and then make the commit there. And if I want to run grunt, I still have to do it through git bash. So hopefully in the future, I'll learn some way to streamline this. But for now, it works. It's still going to save me a lot of time in the long run, uh, rather than just doing some of those processes like command or, you know, control or command R on the web browser. And um, also, if I want to do stuff like minify or, um, excuse me, optimize my images, I can just do it in Grunt, which is a lot faster than what I used to do, which is go to a website called compressor.io, drag it in do it, save it, drag it in, do it, save it, which is tedious and stupid. So a few other things I've been doing is just going through lynda.com. They have a uh, JavaScript essential training course. Doing that, I already know JavaScript and it might sound some of you like, oh, that's for babies. But you, I mean, I personally want to be thorough with what I have. And I would suggest if you got a job like this too, that you be thorough as well. Um, but moving on forward, I'm going to go back into Bootstrap, uh, CSS animations, jQuery, uh, Java, and hopefully, or JavaScript, excuse me, hopefully at the end of the week, I'll be able to get into C Sharp and ASP.NET. And no, I'm not trying to you know, master all these before I start, but these are all technologies that I'll be using. Now, if you have a question for me, just let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions that you think I can answer, you know, I'd love to do it through a vlog or do it through the comment section. Let me know. Thanks so much. And remember to always be learning. See you next time. That's done. Who's watching? No one. <laughs>